Welcome everybody, this is your man Tractor Shoot here for another great game of StarCraft 2 Bronze Level. This NC Recent map from Mr. Brick sends me many, many maps. This one he is stating to be one of the best. He will be playing the Red Zerg in the upper right corner. In the upper left corner we have Masekin playing for Team Vats. So he is doing a great scout to the bottom right hand corner. Did not pay attention to the loading map as it clearly states that you will spawn in the upper left and right hand corner of this map. Or maybe he was expecting a hatch first in the bottom right at the one minute mark who knows but he will now t uh, generally get up to the upper right which is the smart maneuver where he will see exactly where our red zerg is he does seem to have spawns all over the map for patrolling maybe was really very confused on these spawning points or just wants to come back and forth so he can get different timed scouts i highly doubt it as that would be way too above the bronze level league level we are getting a gas first with this Terran player getting it very very fast not quite first but very very fast anyways could maybe see a reaper rush after he gets a couple marines out but it could just looks like a typical game it doesn't look like we're going to get any form of reaper rush out of him we did get a hatch at the natural for Mr. Bricks and he has one gas so far with the great spawning pool he is flying the overlord over the marine will try and kill that overlord and should kill it as bricks is going in just to see what he can find and he more than likely wanted to see how many gas was up for the terran player he did see the orbital command was going up so did get a little bit of vision out of that we will just quickly see to make sure yes can see the orbital command did not end up getting to see whether or not the two gas were there so is not entirely sure exactly what's going on at this point we do currently have a marine move up very quick attaching the hatchery we'll get killed as bricks does have some dogs on the map right away here very very smart and it does look like we are sending more marines across the map here he is looking to put early pressure on our mr bricks very good play by mr mats or mass i guess we call mr mass seems to be very short term and very easy to say here he goes here he will get taken down by these dogs unless he has the micro skill but micro does not go with bronze so that is quite fine he loses those two marines we do have a dog doing a scout over to the upper left hand corner where he is making sure he does not have a third out this early and he sees he does not may sit there for a little while until he decides what to do with that dog we do have an overlord scouting space over here very good and we are currently still getting marines out our terran player still is caught not quite figured out there are other units other than marines but does know about siege tanks apparently we will see a siege tank slash marine build out of them very good build i would like to see maybe a few marauders in here in case he gets some roaches coming at him but you can do just pure marine siege and it works out quite well apparently he likes to queue them up i might recommend possibly putting down an extra factory and not supply blocking yourself as you can see he has done so right here we do currently have the siege going at the top of the base should be able to cover everything down there the zerglings have found out there is no expansion out yet so do know that he is one basing it at this point in time seven minutes and 30 seconds in is going to take the rocks out just so he has easier access later on in this game to that natural expansion we'll see what's going on over here at brex he is getting layer technology should see something coming out maybe some mutas uh, possibly even going into maybe a nidus or, so or something usually helps to break through or maybe we will see some banelings banelings is also another way to break through a sieged up front door which he's not too sure of, but he did get fired at once so he's got to figure there are sieges up there we are still supply blocked here again maybe setting a record time for the massive amount of supply blocking i recommend maybe building two supply depots at once it might quite help out take that tip and use it in the future in the bronze league levels so these dogs will slowly get this rock taken care of we do have an overlord scouting down around the bottom very good to have good map vision everywhere no need to spread any creep apparently bricks does not feel the need to do so or if he does he feels the need to do so at a very very slow pace mr mass over here is currently building himself an armory could possibly see some thors coming out here maybe even some hellbat play would be very very interesting hellbat play is not used very much at the bronze level level so i wouldn't mind seeing that at all does get the second siege up there should be looking pretty good here i would imagine we're going to see some banelings pretty quick here as he did have the banelings nest go down a little while ago so we'll more than likely try and see a, a wall break here coming up pretty quick hopefully these dogs avoid that siege tank it does look like he might nope cannot quite see them there did not get a shot off at those dogs 
Currently over here, he is building some more dogs, massing up to get some banelings. Is getting baneling speed here. So we will see a baneling bus come up pretty quick here. Is getting expired. Typical bronze level league play here to get the mass muta. Mass muta is very good at all levels, but bronze league tends to lean towards it the majority of the time. So he does have two queens down here at the bottom. One queen, two queens up top. Always good to have a normal amount of queens out. Is two per base is always pretty good. They do help protect against minor little, um, m minor little annoyances when people are dropping in the back of your base. We do currently have a third hatchery going up for Mr. Bricks. Very brilliant. The Overlord's still scouting way down here. He's got dogs scouted out around the base here, making sure he knows exactly when Mr. Mass is going to move out to make his move in this game. Does currently have the Orbital Command going down. I've not seen any scans so far. Uh, maybe doesn't quite want to know what's going on, but I would recommend definitely using his scans so he knows exactly what's coming his way. He can see an upgrade for the Spire happening here, so we are definitely going to see a... A good amount of mutas, I would imagine. If you're going to get the upgrades, you're probably going to make it worth it, and you're going to build yourself enough to, to do some damage over at the other opponent's base. He is currently massing up some overlords here. Does currently have 100 food count, 60 acts being used here. And our Terran player has currently massed up his food, got it up to 51. Is still using the single SCV supply depot build. Not recommended at all, but if you're in bronze level, you can use it as much as you want. You hold the shift key down and build as many as you wish with that one SCV. Pro tip there for you. Remember, you can use that at bronze level. Does have a marine on each one of the corners, possibly making sure no overlords scout into his base so they do not see his secret skill level and builds of the one supply depot at a time. Does currently have the double factory. Could be possibly trying to hide the fact that he has a, a Thor build happening here. Uh, is not doing too, too much. Basically just putting out Thors right now. We do have six Mutas on the field here. They're going to make their way down here into the front of the base just to make their uh, appearance felt there. Make sure nobody comes through the front door. We're now getting some Banelings out here. Should start to get interesting pretty quick here. Do have the Expo going down. Is fairly well defended. Has a lot of Siege Tanks around there. Very well done by Mr. Mass. He is now going to start getting the upgrades as he does have the engineering bay going. Might also look to put a planetary fortress at the expansion. It is quite possible. Do have the third hatchery starting to get droned up here, but the drones are set to head off to the natural, so we're not going to start uh, saturating the third at this current time. We do have the Banelings out. Mutas have decided it's time to make a move. They're going to head up across the map here. They know exactly what's up top. Do the great scouting of the overlords here. So they will make their way up top here, hopefully. Or it is quite possible that they might head a different direction. I'm not entirely sure where our Mutas went to here. Uh, as it does appear, I have lost our Mutas. Our Mutas have flown back into the main base. Not entirely sure what he's waiting for. Possibly maybe to get a good count up. Now does have eight on the field. Uh currently has five of them that are moving across the map here they just move here and there get a little tired i guess i'm not entirely sure what the whole point of this is now he has finally decided it's time to make his move out here he should go through the marines pretty quick will take him a little while to get the thors into the bases but we'll see he is dropping turrets on the side here but it will get stopped here very good and here he goes around to the mineral line here he does know what's coming i would imagine the thors are going to make their move up here pretty quick uh, need to make it a little bit quicker than this. He's going to send one Thor. There's the second one. Here we go. Should be able to deal with this a little bit. He has three Thors to go through these Mutas with. The Mutas are going to get out in time. Very good. Very well done by Bricks. It does end up taking a Muta kill. That was unnecessary, but is it going to be a game changer? Now has the turret so That is going to be a big stopper as Mutas and turrets do not get along at all. If we take a look here, we do have eight workers killed by Bricks. So very well done. Did trade off one Muta, so it wasn't the best of exchanges, but definitely came out ahead on that one. Over here, we do have the expansion starting to get saturated up. We are starting to get a fairly decent Thor slash Siege tank build up here. Has gone away from the Marines. Yet, does have the engineering bay, and I would assume that is for the planetary, which I would assume we will see pretty quick here, as it doesn't look like he's going to use too many marines or marauders or anything out of the barracks for that for that case here. He is still using the single SCV build. Very good build by him. As you can see, he used the shift key. Oh, he has two going. Has very many. The green ones is the shift secret. Hold shift, click, click, click. You can build as many of those little green things as you wish. Your SCV will slowly go around and do all the work all by himself.
We do have the other Zergling up here watching that corner. We do have the Overlord down here making sure nothing expands to this direction. The dog is going to try and make its way in there and one shot there. The tank has taken him down here. If we go up here, we are getting the third slowly getting saturated here. We do have the infestation pit and the roach warren going down. Are we going to see hive technology? We are getting the movement speed for the overlords happening right now here. Aren't getting hive yet. Maybe we'll see some infestors in this match. We might see one of everything. Brex does seem to be building every building he can so far. We might even get a greater spire might be his build. I'm not entirely sure what his idea is. But the greater spire and going with the blood lords might be the idea as they are a good counter to Thor's. He is massing up a massive amount of banelings here. Is well ahead in food count. Does have a lot of mutas on the field. Only problem is siege tanks can counter a lot. Siege tanks will do a lot of damage to these banelings and these dogs before they even get near them. So don't let the food count fool you here. And we are starting to get some creep spread here. Very smart by Mr. Brex. Needs to really get that going here. We are going to get a possible scout to build a third here. Or maybe we just have three marines making sure there are no extra bases going down for our Zerg player, Mr. Brex. Because you really don't want to let the Zergs get ahead of you in a game. Because that can really do damage. They can get ahead. And when they do, they will get ahead really, really fast. We do still have... Constant stream of Thors coming out here. If we speed this up a bit here, we are not doing anything overly exciting. See if we can get something going on here. Still have a mass amount of banelings. 25 banelings, 14 mutas, 49 zerglings. Zerglings aren't too, 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 too good there. They will annoy the Thors a lot, take a lot of their shots. I would almost recommend building maybe 20 or so more more bane things possibly just get a mass amount going into that base if you get a good spread when moving in you could do quite fine against the sieges there and get them into their thors and possibly rape through them pretty quick now we do have the overlords going around to scout all the expansions to see what is available he will see that the marines are there and apparently bricks is saying that is very nice scouting by mr mass what a very friendly player this mr bricks is here i tell you that we will go over here and see whether or not we do have Hive go up, and Hive is still not going up. We do have the double evil happening here. Has not felt the need to upgrade anything. Just has the double evil. Very, very well done. So if he does need to do the upgrades, he will have that. Does have some, some swarm hosts on the field here. Is really getting a good ball of units here. Trying to get one of everything, I suppose. I'm not entirely sure. But is definitely enjoying getting the mass money units here. Does have the roach worn over here now. Do not see any roaches on the field yet. But does have the roach worn if he ever decides to build some in the near future here. We do have these swarm hosts are slowly moving up into here now. That will give us a count of nine swarm hosts. Should do fairly well. We'll check the front door. Does have the turrets there so they could definitely do some detection. But if he does plant the swarm host out there, he will use his scan to detect them more than likely. And there's the planetary fortress that we expected to go up. And I would imagine Mr. Bricks is going to move out pretty quick as he is nearly supply capped. Almost has double the food of Mr. Mass. So this could get interesting very quick. Depending how Mr. Bricks engages this is really going to determine who's going to win what here. It's uh, never good to go into Mass Siege unless you have a plan. Maybe drop down some uh, Infestors, Infested Terran in the base. Something like that to take the fire. Or even run in a bunch of dogs or beanlings just so you can get your main guys into the base there. Um, but it should be fairly interesting as he does get the swarm holes count up to 12, which should help quite a bit here. And Mr. Bricks is slowly getting that creep sped across here. We have Mr. Mass is slowly moving a units up here. He does have the Thors, quite a bit of Thors in the field. He has about eight Thors so far, but I would honestly see Mr. Bricks really should have this in the bank depending on this engagement and depending on his timing. If his timing is no good, then it's really not going to go good at all. Or if he misses any of the Bronze League micro moves, then it really could turn and go to Mr. Mass's favor. He is currently standing on the great bridge that everybody likes. Very good spot to spawn them all. Here we go. We will now see, once the Thors see this, we're really going to see what Mr. Mass is going to do to react to this. We currently have all these swarm hosts set to go nowhere. Therefore, they will just spawn, sit on the bridge, and do nothing. You may, there we go. We now have the spawning point. They will now head towards the third of Mr. Mass, which is exactly where he needs them to go. And apparently, they are taking the long route because he had them going up into the main base. Great Bronze League play there by Mr. Bricks. Head him up into the main base. Didn't work so well. This next set here should really see how these Thors are going to handle this. He is putting a lot of turrets around his base. I, I don't, don't know why he's doing this. Probably to fend off against the Mutas he's seen earlier. The Thors are moving back and forth. 
I'm sure we'll see a scan come down here pretty quick, I would imagine. But Mr. Bricks really needs to figure this out. <laughs> when he is spawning them, they're not moving very fast. Here we go. Obviously, Thors do more against air. Mutas are not the best against the Thors. Should have pulled them back until he had everybody else get across the bridge. There's the Banelings. They're going to mow through these Thors really easily. There we go. Lost a lot of Thors there. Four Thors in that engagement. Dogs will chase him down. Mutas are going to take out these turrets here. Does have enough turrets down that he will be able to fend this off. Thors will fend that off here. And that really, really hurt. Bad engagement by Mr. Bricks. Does have Infestors on the field. Infestors, not entirely sure what they did. I don't think they dropped any Infested Turan. They all still have 200 energy, except for these two here. So very well might have just moved into the base and not done a whole heck of a lot there. Now these formal should be able to take care of this third base here. Unless he does get the Thors over here. He has pulled all the Swarmos units back. Brilliant move by Mr. Bricks here. Bronze level at its best happening right here. We do have all the Mutas that really want to keep their distance from those Thors. As they will go down very, very quickly. And the third is slowly flying off here. And, oh, bad move there. Thors, <laughs> what the hell is he doing? <laughs> he has apparently walked the Thors into the Locust to get massacred. Maybe thought they were expendable. Doesn't realize how much they actually cost. And here we go, taking down the turret, making sure the third is dead. Mr. Bricks is slowly taking this game over. 197 to 66. I would have to imagine he should be able to finish him off pretty quick here. His food count is phenomenally higher. All he has is a bunch of siege tanks. Really needs to figure out how to engage this. There's the scan. Brilliant scan. He has found nothing with that scan. Even if he did, I'm pretty confident it wouldn't hit it because they would never be that close to the base. There he does see where they are now. Not entirely sure why he did that. Maybe to possibly just know where they are for when he does choose to engage them. He is slowly moving these siege tanks closer and closer here. As you see, siege tanks really do go through swarm holes very fast. As they are killing the little locust guys really, really well. Locusts are moving in. Siege tanks are getting closer. Mr. Bricks has to figure this out here. Otherwise, he's going to be in very, very big trouble here. He does currently have some roaches on the field. Has decided to build some roaches. Not entirely sure of his train of thought there to start getting roaches out. Um, possibly, I would have possibly went with some altars or something. He really needs something to absorb this damage. Uh, would like to see him get into hive here pretty quick. Is staying on layer technology. Does currently have the roaches as a scouting tool. The roaches are scouting around the map. Very, very well done with them. Do have the marines coming in. They've decided that marines is best if we send the marines in as, I guess, what you could call some sort of... Um, distraction I would imagine anyways he does take the turrets out has gone into the main base is going through the turrets very good there he is losing mutas at the same time though really shouldn't be doing that as if you're trading off turrets for mutas isn't a very good trader at all here should be taking out the add-ons to these buildings to try and slow down the output of these stores here which it does appear he is slowly doing is now going to beat on the food count really not going to help him at all as he, he doesn't realize there that the food count isn't really helping Mr. Mass here as he is that far behind so far. And we now do have some locusts heading in here. They are going to work their way in towards Mr. Mass here. <laughs> Too many siege tanks is not going to happen for him today. Is slowly amassing a lot of unused infestors here. Still has the four. Does have an overlord in the army just in case. Not entirely sure what the overlord is going to do. May make funny faces or maybe coaching the army. We could call him Coach Overlord. He is sitting here coaching these guys and has decided, you know what? You guys move over there. Very good move. We're going to spawn some more Banelings here and hope we get this done here. You guys are doing so well for me today. Oh, has decided he is morphing into an Overseer. Pretty brilliant here as he has been seeing a lot of cool guys coming out of our Terran unit here. Actually, not entirely sure why he is going into an Overseer. Overseers are a little bit faster than Overlords, but... Other than that, not really a good reason to do so. He's slowly getting out a lot more Locusts here. Locusts aren't really doing anything. Like I say, the Siege Town is up just way too high for Mr. Mass. I'm not entirely sure. We're down to 75 food. We were at 79 about two minutes ago. Uh, Mr. Mass must be switching tech here because he is not building any units at this current time. Has amassed up 9,000 for a Zerg unit. Not entirely sure what he's doing at his end of the base. Really should be getting out some Ultra lists here. We do have 79 food now up to for Mr. Mass, 176 for Mr. Bricks, and we currently do have hovering around a thousand mark for our Terran Mr. Mass. And here we go, we're slowly just melting away at Locust, and probably going to engage his army at a different spot. 
is kind of deciding what he wants to do. Is going to come around this side here. When you're running into Siege, it doesn't matter which side you hit them. They're all s sitting in the same location. But is going to go down just in case there is another third down here, which there is. And he will see. Should be able to take out. Has decided that the Banelings taking out the rocks was the best maneuver, which is a high-end bronze level move. You do not see this in the pro level games, but Banelings taking out rocks is well worth it because it takes them out super fast and it really puts you way behind on what you spent for them. So very smart bronze level move there. And we are now taking out the command center. He has no choice other than to lose this. Really big kill for Mr. Bricks as he really is dominating this game. It's really going to depend when he decides to get the proper units for this engagement because he is so far ahead in money. And Mr. Mass, I don't know what Mr. Mass is doing to be honest with you. His food count has gone up three in probably the last 10 minutes. He was around 79, 75. It's now up to 83 now. Is really slowly getting the food. I'd, I'd really like to know what he's building. It doesn't appear like he's building a whole heck of a lot. Let's go to our production tab here. If we look at the production tab here, he has one Thor and two Marines. So very good here. <laughs> Not entirely sure what he's paying attention to. If you really want to watch, I guess we can see here. Let's get a look at his camera. He is staring at the siege tanks to make sure they're all doing their job is going to sacrifice the Thor. I don't know if I recommend this, um, but hey, to each bronze level leaguer. Oh, he's using the Thor to lead the Locust into the seed farm. Brilliant move by Mr. Mass here. Well done, Mr. Thor. I think we've had enough of watching that pro level play there. We should now go back to our normal camera. We are massing up some mutas as he does realize the Thor count is low and getting these mutas is another way to take care of these tanks pretty quick. Because realistically, unless we start getting some more Thors out here, these mutas can go through pretty well as long as they can avoid the turret fire. And down here, we don't have a whole lot of turrets right through the front door. If you can get to that planetary, take out the natural, really put Mr. Mass in a bad spot. Still has $10,000. I would like to see maybe some uh, macro hatches put down or maybe some more injects so he can get this spent because that is a lot of money for a Zerg player to have. Is building dogs, which I'm assuming are going to turn into Bane Links, would probably be his best move at this point in time. Let's speed this up a little bit here. This has been constant locusts running into these stores and siege tanks here. He does have one medevac. We might have switched over to a medevac marine marauder build. I'm not entirely sure why the one medevac on the field really doesn't make a lot of sense here. But like I say, this is bronze level play. You never know what they're going to do. We do currently have a Thor and a bunch of Marines going down. Is going to do some harassment around the bottom here. Really does need to get Mr. Bricks off his game. Needs to get him focusing somewhere else. Otherwise, he's just going to slowly stand here and watch Locust melt for the next 10 hours. But now we are going to head down here. We'll get some action at the bottom here. Is going to take out an Overlord. Isn't going to do a whole lot as that doesn't really matter. Mr. Bricks is well over 200 in food for Overlords. We are moving in here. The Marines will slowly get over here. I would like to... Imagine they're going to walk into this base here pretty quick and take it out. And here we go. Mr. Brick will lose an expansion here. Has taken out the Queen. It didn't have anybody mining off it. And Mr. Bricks has enough money to play four or five more games without mining anything else anyways. So it should be quite fine. Has decided that Banelings are expendable in this game. Will send the Banelings down to take out this army here. I really don't understand. I really hope he doesn't know he is going to guard. And has decided that with his money, he's going to get out as many spine crawlers as possible. As that is the typical bronze level play when you have that much money. We are now getting the Banelings in. They will melt this army except for one Thor. This Thor will do the best to take out what he can here. We have so many spine crawlers going down here. <laughs> this is just going to be a spine crawler wrecking machine, this Thor. Look at this Thor go. as 25 kills before the mutas get a hold of him. All right, if we go way back up here, we still have the Locust Death Ball coming in here. This could be the longest amount of Locust Death Time I've ever seen in my life. Every single time. Mr. Bricks must enjoy doing this. He really needs to get something else going here. He is allowing our Terran player to get back into this game. He's is massing up the Thors again. Is back up to five Thors. If we go over here, he does actually have six Thors. Sorry. Is now bringing everybody up here. Is going to expand, or at least try to expand. He has taken over both gases at the third or the fourth of the Terran, depending on which way you have to go. Is trying to walk in here. Has walked the Infestors in your brilliant, brilliant Michael with the Infestors as they walk in. Got shot a few times and then left. All the mutas are going to come in here, basically melt themselves. Not the best of engagements for Mr. Bricks, but still has all these swarmos here just sending locusts one after another. He has managed to take out that uh, command center there 
is possibly going to put a hatchery down here. He could realistically put a gold mansion down there with the amount of money he has. We currently have a vast amount of dogs coming up here. Apparently doesn't know that you can get Ultra List, you can Nidus Canal. He really needs to figure something out different than walking in all these sieges and Thors. But soon enough, our current player, Mr. Bad, will run out of money, I would imagine, here. But then again, he's got a lot of room down at the bottom. But they re really need to get moving here. Uh, we do have some more Bane things coming out here. We have a mass amount of army for the Zerg player, Mr. Bricks. I would just like to see it matters a little bit better. I would imagine Hive technology is up, and yes, we do have Hive technology. This could be the 48-minute Ultra list, which is a standard timing for Ultras, but we'll currently see. The bandings are running in. Um, I like to think that they did take out a couple Thors, which it does appear they did. We went from 5 to 3, so he did take out a couple Thors. We'll be back to the Locust Send. Is going with Corruptors possibly looking to go Brud Lord, I would really like to think here. Let's see. Do we have yes, we do have the Greater Spire. Should see some Brud Lords, which realistically Brud Lords or possibly Ultras would be your answer to this army. Brud Lords will obviously be the best answer as they should be able to walk through this pretty good. We should sh shortly see that here. Unfortunately, Mr. Bricks has decided that he hasn't really been mining a lot of gas or he's been wasting a lot of gas. We do have another expansion by our great Mr. Mass down in the bottom right corner. Don't know if that was the brightest of expansion spots, but that's where he has decided to plant his base. At this point in time, an expansion anywhere will work for you, as he can probably sit in the base with those Sieges and Thors for the next three and a half hours if he really wants to. We do, he has decided the best thing to do is siege up to kill these extractors. Very good move there. And we are now short, starting to see some Brud Lords come in here. These Brud Lords do have two two and upgrades. Swarm Hosts do have the one armor on them. Locusts also, I would like to think, have some upgrades. If I can find one to click here, I will. They're going much too fast for me here. And we do have dogs. They'll tell me right here. <laughs> dogs currently have three on attack, one on armor. I can't imagine how many kills these tanks have. 172 kills. Could have a record there. 154. We do have 240 kills. 240 kills gets you to commander. Apparently as high as we get is a commander. Very, very brilliant. Could be the longest game we've ever seen swarm holes at one location without moving. We do currently have a couple Brud Lords. We have a few on the field now. Counting them all up here, we do have four Brud Lords on the field here. I'd like to think they're going to move up pretty quick. He has finally gone to Viking. Must realize that he is going to start getting some Brud Lords. Probably the reason he did this. Could be interesting as he might be able to fend it off with these Vikings if he can get them into there without getting engaged by some of these Corruptors. Should be fairly interesting. We are going to get a move pretty quick here by Mr. Bricks as he has got the army highlighted. Really, we'll see what happens here. He's getting in the last two front lords out. Definitely going to keep a couple of those corruptors and very good spot. Oh no, oh no, he has got a little bit too close into there. He does know that the front lords are on the field now, so those Vikings will know. He should start building some more Vikings here, I would imagine. Has decided that he wanted to build one Hellbat for some odd reason, so does have a Hellbat. And here we go, the front lords will be very annoying once they start firing at these, as we do realize Bronze Lake does not have any micro skills. Therefore, these Brud Lords should take care of everything on the field now. Now that these Thors are gone here, this should be the end of the game. The Brud Lords will take out the rest of these siege tanks. And we should see GG here pretty quick. Very well done by Mr. Bricks. And yes, I did miss it. Sorry, the third did go down there. And Mr. Bricks is walking in. We'll take out this last Viking and this last Thor. And basically have nothing but turrets and a siege tank to worry about here. So Mr. Bricks has got another win under his belt. Does plant the swarm host there to walk into the main. Does have a little bit of troubles with the planetary fortress, but we'll just walk in with these mutas and these Brud Lords to finish it off here. Very well done, Mr. Bricks. I would imagine GG is going to come here pretty quick, as Mr. Mass really can't come out of this at this point in time. Is slowly using losing the planetary. Is still repairing it though, as he does have faith in coming back in this game. Very well done. You do realize if you get two or three or four or five or six SCVs repairing a planetary, it can really stay up for a very long time. But unfortunately, when you are beating on locusts and beating on brudlings, it's not going to help too much. There goes the gas. We do have some more locusts. And like I say, the locusts are the game changer, apparently, as they did get about a million of them out this game. 
and 240 kills by the one siege tank. That could be a record. I will have to say this for you guys. When locusts are on the field, don't let the siege get under the belt because if it goes right, the panties might come down. Remember that because it's really going to help you in your StarCraft gameplay in the future. Is still building Thors out. Does have the Odin Thor here who might take everybody down, but no, the Odin Thor has gone down. There he goes. I would imagine Mr. Mass is just staring, not doing a whole lot here. Has given the GG. Very polite player. Very good game, Mr. Bricks. You be good. Don't hurt nobody. Peace.